Hello friends, welcome to CAD CAM Station. So, as you already know that this video tutorial is all about CAMWorks 2019. So, this is the CAMWorks as you can see here and um, one more thing before starting this video tutorial, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and share it with your friends. And also don't forget to write a comment below into the comment section so that I can know that you are interested in this kind of tutorial. So uh, one more thing actually, uh, I'm going to stretch this tutorial into parts because uh, I don't want to make those videos as long. Uh, because I want to keep this video short and precise as possible so without wasting any time let's get started you can activate it from this icon and go to add-ins and you will find cam works you can check and check it and click ok once you have done this then you are ready to go to work with the solid works and solid works with solid works with the uh, cam works okay so all the operations are available here so before starting or getting into these uh, operations you have to start with these things the first thing you have to define machine then you have to define your stock then coordinate system and then set up it is going to be a mill setup right now okay so I have already created a template part over here as you can see here just for the sake of a tutorial I just want to keep it simple so you can understand uh, what I'm going to teach you here so this is the main part it could be anything uh, it could be any model it could be a die mold or anything okay so for example take this as a tutorial okay as I already told you that this is the canvas tabs available you can work from here or as well as you can work from these three icons this is the main part where you can uh, assign all the parameters from here and uh, as well as the uh, you can define your mill setup and all the faces on which you want to work and on the second tab you can add operations on your main model and uh, on the last tab you have different sets of tool available you can also add another tools which you already have in your workshop so you can change according to your workshop inventory now it is time to get back to the tutorial so run it step by step the first thing that you have to do is you have to set your mill machine as you can see you have to set your mill metric when you double click on it it will pops up another window which will show you mill metrics it will also show you some 4th axis, 5th axis, turning machine, mill turn machine and so on. But for the first time this is 3 axis machine. You can select it and OK. OK so it will ask you to uh, define the post processor as well. So you can select the various post processors available within the cam works which suits best to you you can select it if you don't have those post processor you can ask canvas officials to provide you with the same okay now for example simmons a to a d and click select and okay now the first step is complete now the time is for the stock this is the main part and uh, obviously you are not uh, going to get your finished product like this uh, it could be um, 
casting piece or a die piece which from which you have to extract it a solid block or cylindrical shape whatever okay this sketch also means something i made it intentionally because i want to show you that what it means in canvas so the first thing is the stock manager when you double click on it you will see this cyan color around your main component which means it is a stock around your main component so how it appears when you select bounding box it will create a rectangular or a cubical uh, stock around your main component whatever the shape of your component it will create a cubical shape around it which means it is a stock around here you can also change the uh, length breadth or height of the stock from these uh, available icons uh, numbers you can simply click on it as you can see from the top when you go on the top side you can see here it is 20 millimeter down here and 20 in that direction same as in the y direction and when you turn to the front you can also extend z plus as well as at the bottom so this is the stock if you know the dimension of your stock then you can simply uh, do this by selecting the first bonding box option and then you can click okay you are good to go whenever you hover you over your hover your cursor over the stock manager you will see the stock position around your box or main component one more thing there are a few more other options available the one is stock from extruded sketch another one is stl file if you have saved or if you have stl file in the form of stock then you can add it or you can add a part file as well so let me show you that what extruded sketch is this is where this sketch turns out to be more important so when you click extruded sketch it will give you some sets of option over here the first is select your sketch so this is the sketch so as you can see it is a closed sketch around your main component and it will give you the stock now you can change the direction of the stock extrusion like this now you can change the height as well so you are not able to change the thickness of the stock in x and y direction but you can change it by changing the uh, dimensions of this sketch if you want to change the uh, dimension of the stock on your component as well as you find other sets of option available like this up to offset phase offset works or vertex and reference plane as well so you can choose the options according to your requirement like let me just show you when you double click on the surface it will create a stock up to this otherwise you can select blind and enter the value equals to 100 millimeter which is the sample sample model main component height of main component so you can also change to 102 in the positive z direction like this you can have always like that so this is the uh, stock given on the main component with the sketch so it could be a, a circular it could be hexagonal it could be any shape of the sketch it will create the stock out of the sketch okay so the next thing is stl file when you click on stl file it will give you the option to choose the stl file from where you want to pick up your stock over your uh, main component so when you click on it 
wherever your uh, stock or wherever your file is saved STL format you can simply pick up that and click open it will create a it will create a stock around your component the reason I'm showing this is sometimes if you are given the component semi finished so it will look like this or sometime it is uh, casted so cast iron material or cast iron components have some material around it to uh, to be worked with so that is why it looks like this okay now and there is also no other thing that you can change from here because it is a STL file and the stock given to you as it is you can over um, superimpose one on, top, one on top of the other like this so you can work with this uh, component or project like that in the same way you can select part file you can either select a part file or you can choose the current part as a stock the main component is going to be used as a stock as well so when you select part and you have a stock part available click on your stock part and it will also create a so as you can see here this is how it works in solid works and cam works okay this is how you can create a, a stock around your body i have told you once one more time i'm gonna show you that the first thing is the bonding box it will create a box around your body second thing is the sketch you can select the sketch you can change the direction and give the height stock and third option is the stl file you can select your stl file and open it it will cover your main component and third one uh, last one is part if you have created the uh, stock inside the SOLIDWORKS and saved it as a part file, solid part file and open it, it will make a cover around it. So this is how you can um, use these two methods. First you have to select your mill settings and then your stock. So this is it for now. I will show you that how to set coordinate system and your mill setup in the next tutorial so that you can get most out of it okay so uh, let me know that you are finding this tutorial more interesting and you want to uh, get more like these tutorials so please uh, let me know into the comment section so that I can create more videos like this and uh, you can support me by subscribing me as well so thank you see you later